Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so yeah, I feel like I'm picking up on your energy. You're just, there's something, um, it feels like a frustration to the point where you just don't want to deal with this person and this connection anymore, okay? Um, in the past, this was a masculine who betrayed you, backstabbed you. They could have even, um, they could have even trash talked your name to other people to ruin other connections with you. Uh, they wanted other people to see you in a bad light. Okay, so they could have told other people that you know you were a loser. They could have told other people that you were a cheater or that you wouldn't accomplish much. I don't know. I feel like they just wanted other people to see you in a bad light. Um, and I'm not even sure what happened between you two, but I know that this person, um, they were supposed to make some kind of life choice here, a decision, choose a new path. They had a decision to make, and I feel like that's what life is, right? It's a series of choices. And I feel like their their first mistake was choosing to betray you and leave you behind, all right? Um, but I feel like they kept you in some kind of stagnant energy, you know, wondering, are they, you know, it's almost like you, you could feel this person was looking at a choice, like, should I take so-and-so, should I go with so-and-so, right? Should I choose the collective, or should I choose somebody else? But they stayed a distance from making that decision, like this person could have come up with all kinds of excuses, or, um, you know, of why they couldn't talk to you. They could have come up with all kinds of excuses and lame reasons why they couldn't uh, be there for you or come and see you or, you know, treat you seriously, okay? And they, I feel like this person held off from you for a very long time. For some of you, it could have been up to four years, anywhere from maybe two to four years, they just wanted to keep you, like, on a back burner, you know? Um, and you could feel this person wanting to approach. They could have even said, you know, I'm coming to see you or let's talk sometime, right? And that continued to put you on the back burner. Um, but they were very stubborn. This was a game they were playing in a sense. I feel like this person was all about controlling the outcome uh, wanting to see you kind of fall apart. You know, I feel like they were doing this and not really caring. They knew what they were doing. They knew they were keeping you in some kind of um, conf state of confusion. Um, maybe, you know, maybe second guessing yourself, okay? Um, but I, I feel like they, they didn't care. If you look really close at this picture, it looks like this person is like flipping you off. Like, they're like, I don't care how you feel. I don't care that you're waiting. I don't care that, um, that I'm taking all this time making a decision for my life, right? I'm going to keep you on hold, keep you stagnant. You know, you'll wait around, right? That's what this person was saying, I feel, or feeling to themselves, right? Oh, the collective's going to wait around for me while, you know, I can, I can, I can put the collective on hold, no problem. You know, I can tell them this or that or make some kind of fake excuse, no problem. The collective's not going anywhere, right? And, and meanwhile, they know that you're hurting. Um, and if they're talking about you behind your back, they're only adding more hurt and pain to you for no... I, I don't see you doing anything wrong yet to this person in this reading. As a matter of fact, I see you being nothing but loving. Maybe you were the only one <clears throat> who really truly believed in this connection. You know, I feel like the soulmate connection, right? Very intense. Like, you know, you could have known in your heart of hearts that this is your person. And you could have been waiting for them, right? Um, believing their lies, wondering, are they ever going to come forward? I just know this person's going to get their act together because I know they want me. This person could have been like, yeah, I want to come and see you. You know, if there's been no communication, that's even worse. They just left you behind with, with all this confusion, 
all of these questions and they didn't care. You know, take it how it resonates. Some of you did hear from this person and they, they, they kept trying to put you on hold. Look, I feel like if they made you any promises, it was, it was an empty, fake promise at that point. You know, and I feel like this whole time, because I'm not seeing any love here from this person. I'm seeing them being stubborn, holding back, and knowing what they have to do, knowing it, and still holding back on purpose to try to hurt you, confuse you, keep you in a state of, confus a state of confusion, and control the outcome, okay? You don't get to do that to another human being right uh so yeah now that was in the past that was their past energy now you're like you know what i've had enough i've had enough of the bs i've had enough of the lies the empty promises i'm tired of waiting for this person to get their act together and treat me like a decent human being okay you know, I'm tired of not having respect, consideration, communication. I'm tired of being confused. I'm tired of this feeling. You know, collective, I feel like you've put in a lot of effort into the soulmate connection because you believed in this person. You know, I feel like you... You believed in this person. You knew what this connection, and you, you could feel it was a soulmate connection, right? Very powerful, very intense, but in soulmate connection or not, everybody has been given a life to live, not just sit around in stagnancy. They were given their life, and they were out there living it while they were trashing your reputation, perhaps, behind the scenes, okay? And they wanted to keep you on hold for living your life. I feel like, you know, life should be more than waking up every day in confusion and tears, wondering why you're not being held by this person, okay? So, yeah, I feel like you, you're you determined. You've got this, and I'm feeling your frustration. Like, I can feel the upset in you. Um, looking back on things, looking, counting the, the days that you um, cried yourself to sleep at night, you know, counting all the mornings you would wake up thinking of this person, wondering if they were thinking about you, right? Wondering if they were hurting over you, missing you. When were you going to see them again? It's like you've lived every day for possibly years in that energy, and you're just so tired of it, you guys. I can feel your frustration. I can feel that you're just done, you know? And still, here's the thing, but you're still looking back. Like, you're trying really hard to move forward and get out of that stuck energy, you know, you've been put through it, the chariot. She's This person is put through a battle, you know. And love shouldn't feel like that every day, year after year, okay, especially in solitude without your person. This is, it's crazy, you know. And I feel like I'm talking to somebody here, and this isn't going to be for all of you, but there's somebody here who is just like totally fed up with this you know so now you're like soulmate connection or not I, i'm in i may be looking back on this i may be still thinking about my person but i'm moving on i cannot sit in stagnancy anymore this is ridiculous you know it's like um it's emotional and mental torture for yourself so you're choosing you you're choosing you here with the chariot, and you're strong, you know. Um, you're um, just as they were very stubborn, I feel like now you're getting kind of stubborn. Like, I'm going to be moving on and getting myself out of this energy no matter what it takes, right? No matter what it takes. This is very powerful. And you're, it's the emperor that drives the chariot. So you're in both masculine and feminine energy right now, no matter no matter who you are, you could be a masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. You've got both energies in you now, that duality, right? And that makes you even stronger and more powerful than ever before. Here's the thing you have to realize, you know. 
you've been through something here that would make a lot of people just buckle and fall down, okay? But you're, you're in your chariot having some kind of victory. Um, this is a very healing card as well. You're, you know, your healing and your victory is the fact that you made it to the end of the cycle and now you've healed, of, healed enough to say, I'm choosing myself, that's it, I've had enough. As soon as you get in that energy, this person wants to come back around. So where we are right now currently is they're, they're, they're angry because they feel you moving forward. Okay, they can maybe even see you moving on if you're posting anything on social media. It's giving this person a tower mo moment. It's shocking to this person because, see, they were thinking you were going to wait for them and pine over them and hurt over them forever. They were thinking they could clearly just put you on a shelf and, oh, you would wait. You would, and this, this could have been going on for years. How long did this, this person expect you, um, like, it's like they had you in some kind of confinement. You know, it's like they put you in a box, they put the lid on the box, they put it on a shelf and to open the box whenever they wanted, right? And that's not the case. I feel like you're, um, <clears throat> you're like, I'm done. That's it for me. I am so sick and tired of waking up feeling like this every day. You know? And with the here's the thing, too. This can be also, um, I'm really picking up heavy that this person is communicating with you telepathically, okay? Um, because there's this halo connected. There's a connection between you. So you may be... That's another thing with them pulling on your energy. You may be hearing this person loud and clear. Um, you could be having full-on conversations with them in your dreams. You could be like knowing what they're saying to you energetically, telepathically. But what the heck is that? You know, this person still has you on a shelf. Or they're trying to maybe... Um, pull on your energy and, and convey a message somehow that they want you to wait for them more, longer. You know, here's a meanwhile, they're out there living their life. They knew they had a decision, but they stayed away from that decision. They kept their distance from making a decision. So I feel like they were avoiding that or they just didn't want to. It's almost as if, you know, I feel like in the past this person was laughing about it. You know, you don't get to treat other people like that. And now that you're moving on, they can feel that disconnect. Oh boy, can they feel it. They, it, it with all of this telepathic communication between you two, um, they can possibly feel that you're angry, you're fed up. Here's the thing. You were waiting this whole time for this person to make a choice, right? When this whole time, in reality, the choice was always yours. And I feel like spirit wanted you to choose yourself above everything else. Choose yourself. And that's what you're doing now. And now that puts us at the end to a cycle. It, it, the cho you're taking this choice and you're saying, you know what? I'm the executive here. I'll make the decision. I'm out. So you're not choosing them anymore. Okay? And that completely negates their choice that they had to make. Yeah, you see this person as being toxic. 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 And I feel like you felt very bound to this toxicity. For a really long time, hoping for this union and hearing and seeing nothing from this person, nothing. This is like a big hole of um, feeling unfulfilled. Okay? Silence, right? No answers, no communication, no uh, explanation. I, 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 you know what? I feel like you are, the thought of, are we getting back together? Are we getting back together? Is this person coming back in? Do they want me? Are they going to choose me? Are we getting back together? You are bound to that and it's become toxic. It's become toxic for you now, collective. So for whoever I'm reading for here, you've got this fire lit in you. Like, <laughs> um, 
um, <clears throat> like your um, dynamite. I'm hearing something about dynamite. You know, you're, um, you've got this. Now you're passionate in like, and it's like, it almost feels like angry passion, right? Like you are so tired of this and you're upset for how long, how much time that you've been in it, how much time this person kept you bound here in the situation. I feel like you're kind of, you're borderline angry at this person for doing this to you. And that's when you realize you start your, your healing Okay, that's when you realize you've healed enough um, that you can say, you know what, forget you. I'm out. If you're not going to give me anything, you know, not even respect, I'm gone. You know what, and that's when you take a stand for yourself and move forward. When you do that, though, this person feels it. They get really angry and upset. Okay, so maybe you two are feeling each other's energy here because I'm feeling your frustration and I'm feeling their anger that they can't keep you on hold anymore. Like they're thinking, what do you mean you jumped out of that box and got off my mantle? What are you talking about? You were supposed to remain stuck in this and waiting for me, right? No, you weren't supposed to do that. You're given a life to live. That's what you're supposed to do is live your life. You know, so you're finally choosing you. And it's, it's surprising to this person that, um, that you're moving on. Yeah, now they want to come in and compromise. What is this compromise? You know, they could be with someone else. They still haven't gotten out of something here or they haven't changed their path, right? You know, my, maybe now they're like, okay, you know what? You're not allowed to leave, right? You need to get back on that shelf. Let's let me let me come in with communication because I know that's what you've been waiting for. I'll communicate with you, but I'm not really going to offer you anything solid because I'm still with someone else. But maybe I can get you to wait for me. You know, maybe I can get you to uh, to get back in that little box on the shelf where I put you and wait a little longer. See, they won't say it like that, but that's actually what they're thinking. Okay, because this person, if they're still with someone else and they want you to just compromise and wait for them, they cannot offer you what you need right now. They can't offer you what you need right now. And I feel like um, this person really hasn't grown. If I feel like this person does want to come in and talk to you because they're angry that you're, you're moving on from them and not choosing them. Okay. You, you're choosing to not remain in this connection because it's become toxic. Yeah, they're going to come in and say, you know what? Look, collective, I recognize you at a soulmate level, right? I know you're my soulmate. I, I'm in love with you, you know? Let's, uh, let's get together on the down low. Or uh, I will start talking to you again. Or maybe I can come and see you once a month. Something like that. You know what? No. Um, in your chariot, you've already been put through enough. And with the victory you're having here, whatever they're offering you here is not going to be enough. I feel like you're the one who's choosing uh, yourself. You're not choosing them. They're no longer a choice. Yeah, look at all of this. See, now they want to come in and communicate, but I really feel like um, this is that telepathic communication. Okay, this could be what you're feeling, what you're picking up on telepathically as well. But I do see this person wanting to rush in and talk to you now, but you've already grown too much. Um, You've completely reinvented yourself. You're not the same person that they left behind in pain, okay? You're much stronger now, especially since you've acquired the power and the energy of the emperor. You now are both emperor and empress energy. That means you don't even need this person. You don't need them. I feel like you need to pull yourself out of that painful energy, 
right? But I, yeah, I see as soon as you do this, though, they're going to be taking some action. They're going to be seeing that there's no time left, right? They're going to be feeling panicked, pressed for time, and angry because you're leaving their clutches, you know? Um, you're... You're, you're leaving that um, control they had over you. I feel like they were just trying to control the outcome. They were trying to control you. And I feel like they were laughing at the fact that they thought you would wait forever in pain. You know, I feel like um, you're being enlightened. I, I'm, you understand why you had to go through what you had to go through. This person triggered you to make a great change in your life. Like I said, you have reinvented yourself. You've transformed here. You're not the same person you were before. And you realize that you had to go through all of that um, to le you know, live a better life and get the blessings that you're getting blessed with now, right? Um, and I feel like you are taking all of those lessons with you as you go. You realize that it wasn't all for nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? In the years that you have spent apart from this person, you've accomplished a lot. You've completely transformed not just yourself, but your life. So you understand, you know, this came with a lot of blessings, but um, you're not getting, you've learned all the lessons you needed to learn from, from this connection, and it's time for you to move on. To remain stuck in this and continue to wait for this person would be toxic for you, okay? Can, like, continuing to feel bound to this connection, it will be toxic for you because you've already grown to the point where you're bursting out of that, um, out of those constraints, okay? Yeah, so you're releasing this. I feel like, you know, um, you may be spending time in solitude. I feel like you don't want to talk to them. You've got your back turned here. You may not even want to hear from them again. Uh, and that is a complete cutoff, okay? You don't, even, you don't even want to look at this person, maybe, because you don't want to be triggered again into that energy, and that leaves them in a whole lot of regret. They want to take some action, but all they have to offer you is an empty promise of a maybe sometime in the future. What the heck is that when it's already been possibly years? So, yeah, I'm feeling your, fr <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, yeah, so your answer is going to be no. Because, you know what, if this person isn't going to give you the, the emotions, if they're not going to give you um, the dedication, the loyalty, right? If they're not going to give you the respect and consideration, they're giving you nothing. This is dry and barren wasteland here. So your answer is going to be no, you're not going to compromise. You will not be, this person isn't going to get a single chance if they're with someone else. If they haven't changed, you know, or chosen a different path, a new path with you, they're not getting another chance. Your answer is going to be no. I feel like they're already, you're already telling them that telepathically, okay? It's not in your head. I feel like you are telepathically communicating with this person, but you know what? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. No human being should be kept in captivity like this. I, I feel like that's what this was. They wanted to keep you in captivity in your own head, in, in the sorrow, in the confusion. And now that you're releasing yourself from that captivity and not choosing them, right then that this is what this is what makes them jump into action they're going to be in a whole lot of regret for playing these games with you and i feel like you're really going to surprise them because like i said they don't expect for you to turn them down all right they're going to be begging for your forgiveness wanting your forgiveness and i feel like um, collective, you're, you're not going to, I feel like at this point for someone out here, and it's not going to be for all of you, you're not going to care. 
you know, you maybe you've already forgiven them. In order to release this person the right way, you need to forgive so that you don't carry the baggage of all that they've done to you and put you through into the new cycle. You don't want to bring that kind of baggage um, into a new into a new relationship. And believe me, this person, there's eight billion people in the world. They're not the only one that could make you happy. As a matter of fact, all this person is doing is keeping you in a state of misery and confusion. They're not at all making you happy. They can't even offer you something legit. And I don't think in as emperor and empress energy, you're not going to be wanting to share this person. So, you know, um, yeah, you're going to be moving on. And I feel like you will eventually get new love. Who is, who is going to make you happy? Who is going to offer you all that you deserve? Okay, you're turning your back. You realize this person, they may be falling apart. They may be crying now, but they weren't crying when you were kept on a shelf. They weren't. They were flipping you off like, I don't care. Let them sit there and wait. And they were trash talking you behind your back. Being smug, laughing about it. You moving on to on the bottom of the deck, this is putting your person in dark night of the soul. It's going to force them to take a look at themselves. You know, it is. You leaving them completely alone, right? Leaving them alone to um to go through the tears, go through the crying, oh boo hoo, you know, they lost control of you and the outcome. Okay, it will push this person into dark night of the soul. They're going to have to heal, do their healing. Okay, they're going to have to take a look at themselves and learn a lesson from this. This person, they really, they didn't care that you were hurting collective. At least this one. And this, once again, you guys, this isn't for all of you, right? But, um, but if you're feeling like I've had enough, I'm not going to deal with this BS crap anymore, this reading is probably for you. Yeah, I feel like you have a new soulmate coming in, all right? I feel like you have a new soulmate coming in who is going to commit to you, who is, yeah, look, you're about to have a fresh start with someone new, and your person, they're going to be bound to doing their shadow work, to looking at themselves, okay? They may feel like a victim, like, Woe is me. I lost the collective. No, you didn't. You mistreated the collective. You mistreated the collective and you thought you could just make them wait forever. Yeah, that was for your person. Now they have to realize that it's it, they, they have some baggage they need to heal from. They have some faults that they may need to correct. Okay. You, however, you've done your work and you've, re you've transformed, you're ready to move on and to stay in the stagnancy, it will feel like misery for you because you're ready now. You're, you're, you've grown, uh, you've outgrown these bounds to the situation. So yeah, get ready for a new soulmate connection though coming in, okay? And look, a whole lot of money as well. So you're about to be very independent, very um, financially stable, and in love with someone else. Yeah, you're refocusing because you know what? This person didn't give you anything. All of this, like I said, it's it, this and this are almost the same, right? In dry and barren wasteland. They gave you no emotion. They gave you no communication. Okay. I feel like for the longest time you had hope and faith in this person, but I feel like not anymore. And even if you do, I feel like as you move forward, you're hoping for the best for them. You really are. I feel like you'll always love them, but this feels like unrequited love. They didn't give anything back. They didn't reciprocate. Okay, you're, you're staring at something that's all dried up. So I feel like you'll always love them, 
But as far as wanting them back, I feel like that ship has sailed. Um, I feel like the answer is going to be no. Right? They may even be in a family situation with someone else. Okay? It could be next summer before this person comes towards you. You know what? And with their pride and ego, they need to release that as well. Like I said, they were smug. They thought that they could control you. They thought you would wait forever. What do you think that is? That's their pride and ego. Okay? You know, this person needs to do the work on themselves. And honestly, it is a solo dolo journey. You have to do that on your own. Um, and you've done your work. You're not going to hold this person's hand. You're not going to be, you're not going to be sitting around waiting for them anymore. There's going to be no more sleepless nights, no more crying, any more tears. You feel very determined to get out of this stuck energy because it's gotten to the point where now it's just suffocating. Okay. It's suffocating. So yeah, you're releasing, you're moving on. Some of you may like um, being single. Some of you are taking a break from love altogether and just focusing on other things. You may even be starting a project. I'm also seeing that someone here um, could get pregnant in the near future. You know, uh, because the new soulmate is coming in. You know, when, when we're focused on ourselves and we choose ourselves, that's when love usually does come in. But get ready. This person is about to communicate, okay? But you'll soon find out that there's a barrier. Maybe, maybe that you're the one with putting up the barrier. I can see you saying, no, that's a closed door. That's a closed door. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guessing anymore. I'm not going to be confused anymore. You're not going to keep me stuck. I'm moving on. I feel like that's what you're saying here, Collective. Oh, I can feel that energy. And here's the thing. You know this is probably your Divine Masculine, right? Sorry about that. My battery tied. I didn't realize it was this long of a reading. Um, you know, and I think you've always known and you could always feel that this person is your divine masculine. I mean, you could feel that in the connection. You had, you had a deep belief in this person and this connection. And with the uh, telepathic communication, yeah, this is a very strong connection. But you know what? Until this person has that awakening, does their work on themselves, they still can't offer you what you need. So I feel like divine masculine or not, until this person can actually live up to that title, you're moving on. And I feel like you're, you're actually, um, you're closing the door on this, right? There, if you continue to um, hope this person is going to come around and offer, you know, make you a real and true offer someday, that keeps you stuck in this energy until that someday. I feel like you're just, um, you're putting this person out of your mind the best that you can. Um, you're wishing them the best as you go. But yeah, um, I've, and I feel like too, you don't want any more telepathic communication either because it, it's confusing to you. You know, I feel like you just can't stand it. So you're turning your back completely on this person. All right. And I feel like um, in the future, you are going to get a true soulmate, a fresh start with someone new who is going to be there for you, who's going to be able to offer you what you deserve in a relationship.